Hello and welcome to Capitalize Business Finance. This short video has been produced to help explain how to calculate and compare the actual cost of invoice finance between different financiers. And in doing so, I will show you how you could control your financing costs to below 1%. For business owners who are searching for a solution to their cash flow problem, I repeatedly emphasize this key message. Understand what your business needs so that you get the right solution for your business. So it is very pleasing when I find clients like my most recent client who was comparing my facility with other financiers, including Scottish Pacific, say to me that when comparing apples with apples, your facility is better and cheaper. How is this possible when other financiers advertise low headline rates? Simple. Hidden fees and locking contracts often makes the cheapest finance very expensive. If you're looking for the cheapest finance for your business, you won't find it if your first question is, how much does it cost? I'm going to explain all of this via a real example of one of my long-term clients. For confidentiality, I won't disclose their business name. This client has multiple customers called debtors, but only finances some invoices from one debtor. This particular debtor pays their invoices on an end of month plus 30 day terms, and my client can finance invoices anytime within the 60 day period. In December, my client issued three invoices to their debtor for work completed in December, due to be paid at the beginning of February. My client elected to finance one small invoice in mid-December and a larger invoice in mid-January. The third invoice wasn't financed. This bar depicts the total invoiced to the debtor and the proportion that was financed. Because the larger invoice was financed for a short period of time, the fee on that invoice was low, while the smallest invoice attracted a larger fee. The weighted average fee the client paid for their financing needs was 4% of the two invoice values. However, to compare apples with apples, we need to compare this to single debtor facilities and whole of book facilities. A single debtor facility means that all invoices from a debtor must be financed. So if my client was forced to finance all three invoices, then the comparison fee would be 1.8%. My client has two main debtors of roughly equal size. So if my client was forced to finance all of their debtor book, as with a full book facility, then the comparison fee would be 0.9%. Granted, financing more invoices would raise more cash for my client, but they don't need it. If they need the extra cash, then it makes sense to finance more invoices, but not all businesses need it. Your money needs to be working for you as often as possible. So financing invoices without having somewhere to invest those funds is a waste of your money. It's like filling up a car with fuel, then continuing to overflow and spill it four times over just because you're paying a dollar per litre instead of a dollar fifty per litre. The spilt fuel is a waste of both resources and money. And so we return full circle to one of my opening statements. Understand what your business needs so that you get the right solution for your business. The next tricky part is understanding what each financier offers. Sales is an art, so be sure to read the deed to find out what you are actually being offered. I hope you have found this video helpful. If you'd like more information or would like to discuss your business financing needs, please feel free to contact me at any time. Thank you.